Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with blueberry shortbread bars. That's right, I'm no big fan of medium and tall bread, but I do love a good shortbread and this, thanks to some delicious sweet summer fruit, is especially delicious. So let me show you how to make this, it's easy. So first up, we're gonna put some flour in a bowl along with some granulated sugar, some baking powder, not soda, and some salt. So I decided to give that a quick stir. I wanna make sure all that baking powder is mixed in well. And I'm gonna take my pastry cutter, that's that wire thing, and I'm gonna give that a good mix to mix all those ingredients together. And then I'm gonna spice it up a little bit with a pinch of Chinese five spice. You know we like to bake with this. It's very interesting, quite mysterious, and borderline exotic. If you're less adventurous slash sexy, go ahead and just put in some cinnamon and nutmeg. So I'm gonna mix that in. And at this point, we're gonna do what's called cut in the butter. So I have a stick of butter that I cut in small cubes. I put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. So it's very nice and cold and firm. And then we're slowly gonna take our pastry cutter and cut in the butter, which basically breaks the butter into tiny, tiny pieces. And yes, if you have to, you could use a fork for this, which is much harder and not as good. Or you could use your fingertips, which is messier and not as good. Or you could use this cheap tool, which works perfectly. So it's your call, either way. But anyway, we're gonna keep working that cutter into the butter and flour until it looks something like that, all right? And believe it or not, we're gonna add one egg yolk. So there's no egg yolk in classic shortbread, but I want a little bit of richness here, a little extra moisture. That's really gonna work well here because we're doing kind of a fruit bar. All right, so throw in the egg yolk, cover it with flour, kind of break it up with your pastry cutter, and then just start cutting it in. And by the way, when we stopped to put in the egg yolk, the butter wasn't done, but we knew we were gonna work it longer when we were cutting in the egg yolk. All right, so now we're cutting in butter and egg yolk, and we're gonna keep working it, working it, working it, till it looks like that. All right, at that point, we're gonna add a few drops of ice water. And when I say few drops, I mean it almost literally. I'm gonna drip in here about a half a teaspoon of ice water, all right? And you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is six or seven drops of water gonna do? A lot. It's gonna add just enough moisture to this. So I'm gonna mix that in, I'm gonna cut that in. All right, so I'm gonna finish right there and you're gonna have a very crummy, very dry looking mixture. But check it out. If I grab a handful of those crumbs and I squeeze hard, it will come together and look like a dough. But it's not really a dough because if I give it any kind of pressure, it will just crumble right apart, all right? So at that point, we are ready to transfer our shortbread mixture into our baking dish, but not all of it. I only want you to put about 75%, maybe a little less, more than two thirds, what's that, 66%? I'm not that good at percentages. I only went to like 17% of my classes. But anyway, dump in about 70% of the crumbs. By the way, that's just a standard square nine inch baking dish. And then with the back of your spoon, I want you to press it down firmly, okay? And when all that is pressed down very firmly and you have a nice, tight, smooth surface, we're gonna go ahead and add our blueberries. Of course, those have been washed and picked through even though there is a tiny stem on one of them that I'm sure you're all staring at right now saying, man, I hope he finds that. All right, as far as amounts I'm not measuring, you want enough blueberries to make a single layer where the blueberries aren't quite touching each other. And you'll see why in a second. So that looks perfect. Once the blueberries are placed in, we're gonna take the rest of our shortbread mixture and we're gonna sprinkle it over and we're gonna tap it down, not quite as firm as the first layer. I don't wanna crush my blueberries, but do give it a little bit of a tamping down and at this point, you do not, repeat, do not need to give it the old tapa tapa. But you know what? We're going to do it anyway. All right. And at that point, we're going to go into a preheated 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. It depends. And when it's done, the top will be golden and the sides will be sort of crisp and brown. So it's going to look like that. To double check and why I love the clear glass baking dishes, if you look on the side, you're gonna definitely see that that shortbread mixture browned well. So right there, I knew mine was done. And then let me know if you've heard this one before, but you have to let this cool before you try to cut them and serve them. If you try to cut and serve this too early, it will just collapse into a pile of crumbs and nobody wants that. But anyway, we trust you. Let it cool completely, then cut them and serve them and you will be extremely happy. That shortbread cookie part is gonna be kind of crisp, crumbly, but still tender and buttery. And then you have that delicious fruit on top with that kind of crumbly streusel-like topping. Really great stuff. Just a great baked summer fruit treat. And if you're not into blueberries, you could use some sliced peaches, you could use apricots, blackberries, lots of fun stuff. So I hope you give these a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. 
And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.